Hey guys, today is April Fool's Day, but don't worry, there is no April Fool's coming. This video probably won't be uploaded until tomorrow. So I figured you guys deserve an explanation of why I'm not posting so many videos and why they keep being crammed in these videos that are over 10 minutes long. Thing is, I told you guys I got a new job and I've been working this job since January the 5th. I'm not gonna really say where, but just know that it's one of those corporations that are very well known. So I'm not getting enough hours to really focus on YouTube as much, but that doesn't mean I quit. I'm just kind of like on an on and off hiatus. What's been going on lately is I was in the process of trying to move from Florida back to Atlanta. And I told you guys I had some videos of me being there last year and I was officially a resident in Sandy Springs for about three months, but it didn't work out so I had to come back to Florida. And then I was talking about going back up to Georgia, but this time I would have been living in Athens. Thing is, that didn't happen either. So I've been living with two relatives that have been stressing out the whole family. They've been trying to sabotage me and in their own little way, they were just being very immature and trying to get me to move out of my house. But thing is, I wasn't going to move until this month but they were trying to say they were gonna move last month in the middle and by that time I wouldn't have had enough money to move. So if they hadn't had everybody thinking that that's what they were gonna do, I probably would have been up there right about now. And my job, you have to be working there about six months to transfer unless you wanna do a hardship transfer. So that's what I had and it didn't go into the system until after we were told that my relatives weren't moving anymore. What's happened is they've been kicked out. So everything that's been going on in the background, all this noise and stuff, the reasons that I haven't been uploading as much that probably won't be a problem anymore thing is my mom moved in and so did my younger brother so we also have a lot more animals <laughs> it's because she had her two dogs and unfortunately we had to put one of my dogs down um, her name was Demi she was a Shih Tzu she was about 12 almost 13 years old or she was almost 12 years old I can't really remember but she had cataracts and her eye she could barely see she was deaf in one ear she had tumors in her stomach her fur wasn't growing back the right way she was having problems with her urine she could barely walk so as of last week we actually had to just say it was for the better to just let her be out of pain and that made our moving process a little bit easier i also had if you guys remember a sand boa and she passed away actually last year and i didn't want to talk about it because i was just kind of troubled with accepting that i had lost my very first pet she was more than a pet to me she was more like a daughter in a way like I really 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 love that snake she wasn't even a year old I think she at most was about five or six months old and I was sad while I was in Atlanta because I couldn't take her with me but you know it things happen and the way I got over it was I just focused on my work and I tried it even harder to just focus on my career path because I know like even though she was a snake animals feel the way that human beings feel they know when you're sad they know when you're hurting they know when you're just not yourself they react a certain way and a lot of people will say well you know dogs and cats are a lot more like that than snakes but my snake knew that I was having a hard time and the way she passed was I got her a rat that was a little too big for her to eat and I wasn't watching her because my family wanted to go out to eat too so when I got home I found her in her cage she wasn't moving and uh, well, it's it's. I don't want to get into it because it was pretty graphic, but she suffocated. Like she fell asleep trying to throw up the rat, and it didn't work out that way. Now we have two more dogs, and I got a new snake, and her name is Thanatos. She's a ball python. I think she's about two months old, or about a month and a half. I didn't ask the breeders I got her from how old she was because I was just way too excited. And there's a video on that coming soon about you know the introduction to Thanatos and everything but if you want to wait for a second I'll go and get her and show you what she looks like. Alright so here's my baby and again her name is Thanatos. She's really 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 active. She can be shy when she feels vibrations and she's not sure what's going on but normally she's very friendly around people. I've never seen her strike at anybody but then she was born in captivity so she's already been used to being handled. She likes to be around me more than anybody else. Like my brother was babysitting her for a while when I was visiting Atlanta about a week and a half ago or was it two weeks? She knew that I wasn't there. She's not really afraid of me holding her by her head and 
anywhere. I mean, I don't grab her by her head, but like, oh. <laughs> she freaks out when I, I go like this. I try not to do that too often. It's just for, you know, that's just how she reacts. And she's a lot friendlier than Snowfeather was, but Snowfeather was a, a much smaller snake and a lot harder to get used to because sometimes she didn't even want to be picked up. She would strike and she would curl up and hide even deeper in her bedding. But Thanatos actually likes to be picked up and I actually was going to get a male ball python but my brother gave me the little thing that she was sitting in. It was like a little plastic uh, container and he told me to just get a feel of how they react to my presence. Thanatos was actually the very first one that I held and I opened her lid and I went in and I went like this to her back. <laughs> And she reacted just as she is right now, except she would like raise her back up. And she always does that. Like even now when I reach into her tank to like clean it a little bit or something, she knows that I'm there. So she automatically like arch up for me to pick her up. Out of all the snakes that I really, I didn't really get to handle too many of them at the uh, place that we got her from. But she was the only one that really responded like, Hi, I like you. Please take me home. <laughs> and ever since then, as you can see, she loves climbing, which actually scares the hell out of me sometimes. It means that she's going to be a lot more irritating to keep watch over. It's like having a puppy or a small child. They like to explore and get into things. Even though she has no appendages, this snake can really friggin' travel. You're like your mummy. Yes. She doesn't mind like kissing me on the nose or anything. I'm not afraid to hold her close to my face or anything. She's really, really sweet, really, really calm. And she really, really loves her mommy. <laughs> we got two more dogs and they were rescues, so to speak. My stepdad works in Mississippi. There was a lady there that was getting ready to shoot and drown two dogs. We're not really exactly sure what breeds they are, but I do have a picture of them, which I'll just put right here. They're really sweet dogs. I think they're pit and lab mixes. They're definitely labs. One of them looks more like a pit though. They don't really bark. One of them whines a lot. So not a lot. He whines like every now and again. I thought that was really just sad. A lot of people would really love to have a dog and she gave them away for free but she was like oh the only reason that I'm gonna put them out is because I don't want them and I don't know anybody else who would. I guess in her way she was thinking it was more humane to put them out of their misery instead of them sitting on the street and starving to death but my stepdad was really sweet and he just brought them back to Florida when he came to visit which was the same week that I came <laughs> back left and came back from Atlanta. We're keeping one of them and the other one is off with him in Mississippi somewhere so like it was really weird having to separate the two of them because I don't know if they were born in the same litter but they basically have been raised together. Some other things that have been going on I want to get back into the whole moving process and basically I'm still going to move but I don't know where. Like my whole thing about Georgia was, as you're going to see later on when I do my vlogs, I didn't record as much while I was up in Georgia only because a lot of really random and irritating things kept happening. I realized that being in Atlanta I probably do have better opportunities for a lot of things than I would in Florida or at least in Clearwater, Florida. But at the end of the day I don't think I want to live in the south anymore. I notice that there are a lot of places I haven't visited like I haven't been to Philly since I was about eight years old no you don't she likes to get tangled in my hair no no I visited New York for like a couple of days but I haven't really been there been there I haven't like seen everything I haven't even been to California Las Vegas Texas there's just like a lot of places I would love to visit and I haven't done so because I really want to blame it on my finances and not planning as well as I could have so for the time being I'm still thinking about where I want to go and where I want to settle down Florida just isn't for me but I know Thanatos would probably have a harder time adapting somewhere else that's cooler but I'll try to travel from different states and see what's going on over in places I haven't been and places maybe I have been there but I haven't really had time to see if, how well I like it and I haven't even been outside of the country as the months go by I mean you guys will figure out a lot more about me and I realize I don't really make uh, YouTube videos explaining who I am and like what I'm into they're just like brief what I'm about to do and then I just end up not doing it 
for various reasons. I know I'll be in New York in September for the Electric Zoo Fest and we'll see how it goes but again I'll just be here in Florida going back to school and in that meantime that I'm here that's the only focus I have is just going back to get my cosmetology license. You guys may not know I know I've said I wanted to go to school for film production and animation. I still kind of do but I know that's not my main focus in life. I have more fun doing hair and makeup. Where, where are you going? Why are you are you constricting against me? I think she's gonna poop so I'm gonna put her back in her cage. I would like to color hair and just do makeup. Maybe I'll do spa treatments. I would love to do things like that. Going back to get my license however that's just the main focus and the main issue that I'm having. It's just me trying to figure out what school I want to go to because I know Florida has not as many accredited hours as a lot of other schools. Another thing I fear is I might go to a school, graduate, but I might not get a job anywhere. So the way I would make my money is probably by being freelance or promoting my services at random places, but they might not want me as a full-time, I wouldn't say esthetician, but like full-time whatever it is that they hire me for. Like some people will probably hire me to color hair and that's it, or doing natural makeup for proms and stuff, whatever have you. I can't say I've been taking the idea of being a cosmetologist as serious as I had maybe two or three years ago because of so many distractions that have been going on in my life and I'm regretful of it, I really am because I feel like I wasted way too much time trying to do things that I thought were cool and would get me further in life but in reality they weren't the main focuses that I wanted. If you're wondering what the gist of everything is, I'm still in Florida. I have some new pets, my family situation has gotten a lot lighter on me and that means less drama and more time to make videos instead of me trying to focus on how to get, maintain my household. So another thing that has been going on is I have finally got a new camera. <laughs> I really love this camera. The quality is really amazing. The lighting is pretty good. I can't say that it does that whole thing where if I move like this or like this, it goes out of focus. I really like it. And if you're wondering what camera it is, it is the Canon PowerShot N100. There we go. So this camera flips up 90 degrees. It's a 90 degree angle that it lifts up to. But if it were a full 180, I could see myself. But because it doesn't go up that high, what I have to do is move my mirror behind. So if you're wondering why I keep looking that way, I'm trying to make sure that I'm still in focus. So I'm still testing this camera out, but there are some outtakes from when I was in Atlanta and in this camera also has a feature where in the back it has a rear view camera as well. I could be filming right ahead of me, but you would still see my face and everything that's behind me. So I apologize for the weight on all these videos, but just know the more that pop up, the better it's going to get. And I hope you guys are excited as I am. So I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope that you have a good day. Bye.